In this problem, we're going to construct a truth table for this statement. So we'll start by listing all the possibilities for P, Q, and R. So we have P, Q, and R. So the simplest case is when all three are true. So true, true, true. And the way I like to do it is I now like to look at all the possibilities where exactly one of these is false. So I'd like to start by putting a false at the end. So true, true, false. And then you just take the false and you move it around. So you can do two, true, false, true, and then the very last case where exactly one of these is false would be false, true, true. So these are all the possibilities where exactly one is false. Then you can look at all the possibilities where exactly two are false. It's just a really organized way to do it. So true, false, false, and then maybe false, false, true, and then I guess false, true, false. The very last case is the case where they're all false. So false, false, false. So now we have to construct this statement. So we have to figure out how we can get to it. So we're going to need the not P. So let's go ahead and write that down. So not P. And we also need to get this piece here, this Q or not R. So we'll need the not R. And then at this point we can write the Q or not R. And now we have everything here needed to get this last statement. So which would be, let me put this in parentheses, which would be not P or Q or, whoops, and, and, or Q, ah, 